guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Amanda, welcome. And if you've been here for a while, then welcome back, I'm glad you're here. So, for today's video, I have a grocery haul, which I'll share with you at the end. And, um, it's my Thanksgiving grocery haul, but of course it's not just our Thanksgiving items. But, to start this video off, I thought that I would go ahead and just, um, read the devotion that I wanted to share with y'all for this video, and um, I figured that'd be a good way to start it out. So, the title of the devotion that I wanted to share with you today is titled, Joyous Journey, and the verses are from James chapter 1, verses 2 to 4, and it reads, There is great joy in the journey. In the mundane details, in the difficult times, in the confusing moments, and in the tears. There is so much joy to be found in the quiet and in the noise. Pity parties and comparisons create a direct path for the enemy to steal our joy. There is hope in Jesus and the gift of little joy-filled moments. They come in varying forms, shun sunshine rays pouring in the windows, a nice person at the checkout counter, a turn the radio as high as it can go kind of song, a dance party in the living room, or the taste of a delicious meal after a long day. Whatever the moment, there is joy if we look for it. There is there's a journey of joy in waking up every day, knowing it's another day to breathe in the fresh air. Can you find joy in the moment today? I hope that was a blessing to you. I know it was a blessing to me. Um, and Honestly, I guess kind of convicting too, because I would be lying if I sat here and said, oh, I'm, I'm always about finding joy in, in every little thing, and that would be a lie. I'm, I'm not, but I want to be. I want to be that, that type of godly woman that I look for joy even in the smallest things, and you know, I have found that there have been times where I feel like I'm stressed to the max like I'm just at that point where I cannot I can't take anymore and God will show up right in that moment exactly in that moment when I need him and and things will work out and I try to remind myself that it's not in my time it's in his time and he's always on time so I encourage you as I'm also talking to myself to try to find joy in all things. There's always joy to be found if we'll look for it. So I hope that was an encouragement to you and a blessing. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you for being here. I have so much to be thankful for, which reminds me of a Christian hymn that I, yeah, got so much to thank him for. And as Thanksgiving is approaching, that's just kind of where my mind's been these last few days. And I'm just trying to be trying to be thankful and I know that we can never thank him enough honestly but I'm just thankful I'm blessed um, blessed to have the Lord as my Savior blessed to have my family a roof over my head just the list goes on and on and sometimes we can so easily take it for granted and I just I don't want to do that um, anymore so I hope that wherever you're at you're having a blessed and wonderful Thanksgiving know that I'm, I'm praying for you all. I'm thankful for you as well. So guys, I've got a grocery haul for you today. And I, I tried to section it off. It kind of, it doesn't really look like it. But right here, I have, um, in this area, I've got Costco. And then Walmart. And then on the end, I've got Ingles. So we'll start on this end. So these were not from Costco. These were from the Dollar Tree. But they have Twinkie candy canes. And then we got some cherry and some peppermint for the tree. So that's just here. Um, I picked up two of these Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauces at Costco. We have some chicken melts and some bagel bites for the boys. And then I picked up this, um, it's a five pound bag of the Pardue chicken nuggets. So it was a really good deal. So we grabbed that. I also grabbed a big bag of the bacon crumbles, so that way, when I try that recipe I shared, I'll have the bacon. Two things of Vainies, 
um, these croissants. My boys love egg and cheese croissants on those. And then we've got some of the chocolate chip little bites and a bag of potatoes. I'm not even sure. Ten pounds. So we picked that up and I was excited to. I actually had in my cart some chocolate, hot chocolate from Walmart and it was 30 packs for like seven dollars and something and Costco had this 50 packs for five something then we had our garbage bags I haven't bought those since June that's how that's how long they last so that was it from Costco and then coming over here to Walmart we've got our strawberry yogurt that my husband eats I picked up some of these Christmas tree cookies we usually always have some sort of these uh, a thing of hot dogs, three things of these Kraft Singles 72 slices. We that'll last. This is probably two weeks worth right here. So I got two gallon of Mayfield 2% milk. Back here I have some Hellman's, some buttermilk ranch, and two things of the Oscar Mayer ham and cheese loaf. I enjoy sandwiches out of that some dill relish for my potato salad for Thanksgiving. Uh, I got the boys some Slim Jims. We grabbed some cinnamon rolls, some great value popcorn, a thing of the Honey Nut Cheerios, and two things of the Honeycombs. So that's at Walmart. And then Ingles had a really good, I know you see all that cake mix, but Ingles had a really good sale this week so I had to um, stock up on some things. So First off, I got some eggs at Angles. Walmart was out of the eggs that I typically buy, so I got two things of Sherbert. Me and my husband both eat this, and it's hard to find. So I got two things of the um, cake icing, creamy chocolate, and lemon supreme. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cake mixes because they are 98 cents. So I have a perfectly moist strawberry, a red velvet, dark chocolate fudge, a lemon supreme, pineapple supreme, classic yellow, spice cake, and classic white. And I also, I've shared before that I make cookies of this too, so, and that will last a while. They also had their Cheez-Its on sale, so I grabbed the um, cheddar and then white cheddar and their craft blocks were on sale so I picked up two of those also their evaporated milk was 98 cents a can so I grabbed four of that two things of the Bruce's Jams for Thanksgiving a pack of ground chuck for burgers tomorrow some of my sausage that I haven't gotten in a while uh, their pie crust were on sale too picked up some Hershey's Kisses this um, chicken stock was on sale for Thanksgiving, two boxes of the macaroni shells, some uh, marshmallows for my yams, two packs of the premium crackers on sale also, some bread, and guys this is, I usually buy decaf, but me and my husband aren't drinking tea anymore, so these are 98 cents at Ingles. I could not believe that, so I picked up three of those to stock up. I thought that was a great deal. Um, their stick butter was 98 cents, and I think that was on sale too. I can't remember. And then I got some Nella wafers for the banana pudding at Thanksgiving. And then these are just some heat and serve rolls. We got these at a, um, another grocery store. So that is it. I need a few other things, but I didn't have a chance to get it. I'll pick them up, uh, some other time. But yeah, that is the grocery haul. I spent... It was about 124 at Costco. Um, Walmart was a little over 100, and Ingles was like 94. So not too bad for two weeks. And then plus a good bit of this is um, Thanksgiving and stuff to put back. So yeah. So guys, that was the end of the video. I thank you so much for being here. Um, Stay tuned. Next week, Monday's reset video will be us taking down the fall stuff and getting ready to put up Christmas. So that will, that's the plan anyway. Lord willing, that's the plan. We'll take all the fall stuff down, clean up, and then 
probably Thursday will be our um, Christmas decorated with me, which I'm very excited about. We've um, I bought some cookies that you see in the grocery haul. We've got hot chocolate, popcorn, and we'll decorate the tree and watch a movie. So I'm so looking forward to that. So y'all be sure and stay tuned for that. And again, I hope you have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. Lord willing, we will see you in the next one. Be blessed.